Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> I went on the rawhide for eight years. I used to practice with guns all the time, but we didn't use them too much in that type of a show. But uh, this Philadelphia is a different type of thing, and uh, a chance to play a different type of character. Do you think of yourself as a sort of classical cowboy, you know, the Tom Mix of 1967 or something? Well, not in these films, no. In these films, the, the character in uh, Fistful is is the he's epitome of uh, anti-heroism, and he's uh, one of the few westerns in which the hero sort of uh, instigates conflict in the story. Most of the time, all conflict in, in a western especially is, uh, is instigated by the villain. In this case, the hero sort of throws kerosene on the fire, and it comes out with an interesting result, I think. So he's not the traditional hero at all, then? No, definitely not. I think we... Uh, tried purposely to stay away from the traditional view as far away as possible. What are the problems of making Italian westerns? Well, the uh, uh, Italian director, uh, the Italians, of course, are famous for making earthy films, and uh, this goes good with the western. I think uh, this Italian director that uh, I worked for had a, a different feel, a non Hollywoodian, if there's an expression like that, feel, and uh, I think it came off. Uh, it comes off effectively. It's different. You must have some difficulties with names. I mean, can't really imagine a Western hero called Alfonso or something. Exactly. Well, uh, I think there's a, there's an Italian actor named Juliana Gemma who, who changed his name to Montgomery Wood. <laughs> I don't know if he. I think he. I think he's changed it back. He speaks Italian. He doesn't speak any English. He speaks Italian. I don't know if any of these films have played outside of Italy, but he's one example. Do you think that the traditional Western with the good hero being very good and the bad man being very bad is on the way out? No, I don't think it's on the way out. I just think uh, that now they'll try to maybe modernize a little bit, maybe not have the the white hat hero be so white hat. And uh, It used to be in the old days the heroes were a white hat and rode a white horse and the villain was always dressed in black. I think they're going to get away from uh, the obvious cliches. And, and we were once shooting in a few dollars more, and he wanted a crane. We didn't have a crane. We couldn't afford a crane on these pictures. But the De Laurentiis company had a crane nearby. In the summertime in Spain, they have a Catholic holiday about once a week. There's a, there's a different holiday. Well, there was a Catholic holiday coming up. So, and, and the De Laurentiis company wasn't going to be able to shoot, being an Italian company, a Catholic-oriented uh, group. And, but Sergio went to the bishop and said, "We're not, we're not Catholics. We're we're a Jewish company, and we're uh, here uh, over here shooting this film, and we're both, so we're not, uh, we're not Catholic. So uh, could could we uh, film that day?" So the bishop gave his permission. Sure, you guys can go ahead and film. So we went to De La Renta's and said, "You can't film, but we're going to film. Can we have your crane?" So he borrowed the crane. <laughs>